Hello everyone, how you doing? Today I will talking about the last Beatles song short film. And so let's go. At the beginning of the short film, Paul starts talking about what he thought would be the end of the Beatles with John's death and that it would no longer be possible to release something in which the four could be present. In part, he was right because Basically, this meeting is no longer possible. However, technology over the years made it possible for the four Beatles to come together in three songs, composed for the most part by John Lennon. And the second thing that's here on the video, John's tapes were recorded in the Dakota building in New York City. It was made clear by Sean John's song with Yoko that these tapes were recorded during the time Sean was a child and that John was away from the music scene from 1975 onward. Yoko was in possession of these tapes and gave it to the other The Beatles. In 1995, Paul, George and Ringo meet in the studio at Paul's house and they, they listen to the tracks and recording them. There is a part that draws a lot of attention in this short film when it is show the George and Paul are sitting on a bench in a what appears to be close to the studio. They try to play Norwegian Wood, a Beatles song, but George plays the wrong charts, showing the time passing and he will no longer play the Beatles songs. Paul smiles and takes the joke, but at this moment it is clear that this time has passed and that what remains to make a new sound. However, in the song, now and then, by the three Beatles, they faced a problem, as the recording was not a very good, there is a lot of noise, and the technology of 1995 did not allow the tape to be better, and it doesn't even separate the voice from the instruments, in this case, the piano. The Beatles gave up and released the song at the time, in 2001, George went, and then Paul says that after the documentary Get Back by Peter Jackson, managed to separate the voice from some instruments with the technology used. And so hope arose to bring back the song Now and Then, technology that John would like, according to his son, Sean. With his voice separate, Paul recorded his double bass part and the Ringo was invited to add his drums again, added his strings, featured to many Beatles songs. The rest is history. What the last Beatles song short film. Just like everything that is being released by the Beatles, it has a modern look, but has always I was moved. Thanks for watching. See you soon.